All right, guys, Supreme Kami here. So look what is back. Oh, okay, uh, we got ourselves the 36 hours long banner. Um, so yeah, we finally got it. So it's Thanksgiving day as a recording of this. So what a perfect time to actually drop this. So I do expect, um, don't quote me on this. I, I do kind of expect maybe Christmas time, uh, maybe New Year's, they might. Is, is, I'm, I'm talking about mites, right? So they might actually drop this again during those time because why not, right? Because those are probably like, you know, like the biggest time of the year, Christmas, Thanksgiving, or not Thanksgiving, this is already right now, uh, but New Year's. Uh, I think those are probably two other occasion we might have this. So if you're talking about you do not have an apparel chip, you guys are still in the process of saving it. Don't rush because I'm pretty sure they will drop it again, right? This, this is not like a one-time done deal, but I mean like the last time they dropped this banner was like what, four four months ago. So people have been like asking every week, when's it coming back? When's it coming back? Um, so let's just take a look at this banner right now. Um, I don't really expect the format to kind of change, but I am kind of intrigued to see what unit are they putting on top, right? What is the latest unit we can get? So this banner will expire on the 26th at 7 a.m. So depending what kind of time zone you guys are looking at, do kind of mark your calendar, your phone, like put yourself as a, as a reminder if you guys do want to pull on it. So, oh, wow. Gundam Aerials is the headlining unit or the latest unit. That's Pog. Oh, okay, okay. I, I, I can kind of take that. But uh, there is one thing that I do want to cover real quick after we take a look at the banner. Uh, that thing is going to be L badges. Um, if you guys did not pull in between any occasion, uh, you will not be able to alter this part because uh, they're not going to be dropping the L badges. Unfortunately, I I, I don't I don't know why. Why why couldn't they add another line right there that says um, L badge exchange tickets? Like why? You know like. <laughs> I don't know, man. But um, as far as this banner, so every everything you pull is gonna be six star, one hundred percent, right? And then another trig is uh, they're gonna be adding. So every every one of those bonus trade is gonna be at least uh, the five star. So you guys can get eight percent melee, eight percent shot, and then eight percent exq damage. So that is or power boost, excuse me. So that is actually really good. And one pick ticket, so that's actually gonna be good. And then one of the awakening circuits into seven star. So that's good. Uh, but the other thing to talk about, you know, as far as alteration, we do have to take a look into the fact that they do have a whole roster of what part you can exchange for as for the bash exchange ticket. So if we do take a look at this banner uh, or this roster, you guys can see that uh, things that you can alter up to is gonna be this guy here. The S attribute for our unicorn. So this is the last. That's the cutoff point. So anything that's past, let's say the four orb unicorn, is not going to be within this roster. So that is really unfortunate. So let's say you're like me, you have a few of these kind of laying around. Um, I guess the best bet you can kind of do is pick parts that is within, you know, the seven star territory, right? Uh, like any of these right here. Uh, so any of these would would seemingly be good but i would say anything that's past the third year anniversary is you know a little bit better in a way right so yeah that is the unfortunate factor so let's say you're not pulling for anything that is like to increase like you know this power boosting like those specific portrait um i think we can kind of head over to here and kind of take a look what, what they have right um areas i think probably the best one to be looking at i think what people might do is trying to get the arrow shield because this shield itself i personally like it this one has like a truck give you some pretty good animation have some pretty good effects so why would you to pick this one you know uh something that uh as for a cinematic ex skill i think people might pick is actually going to be the um the 30th anniversary banner the new gundam um this ex skill is honestly just one of the best in my opinion for new gundam so why wouldn't you pick this one uh, we got the long range fin final combination this one is just hit like a truck this one does go all the way up to triple s plus is right call after alteration so why not uh if you wanted to go for the counterpart we have ourselves the uh red comment the sasabi here why would you pick for this one as well uh we have the final combination this one honestly just give you like you know two different perspectives so i'm mean, like this one is good so yeah as for the portrait so i think people will definitely be asking what portrait should i be pulling for um to in to better your build or whatever um i'm just gonna give you like a few tidbits here because i'm not gonna go ahead and dig up every one one of those parts i'm gonna i'm gonna specifically on the video label out like what what are some good portrait 
uh, languages that you guys should be focusing as for like your power type build like you know a build that you can output good damage and then also going to be including oh what is a good combination as far as let's say uh ex skill cooldown reduction because um, that is seemingly still a trend as far as like you know in this game so i'll be labeling two of those so you guys can kind of go ahead and you know look for those uh specific portrait language that can you know better empower your build but as far as going to like oh specific nitty gritty for your melee build for your shooter base build let's kind of do a little bit of a quick filtering so in terms of your end what you guys want to do is go over to you know just picking the parts right uh for melee build things that are going to be applicable as far as you know boosting melee is obviously going to be pro tag close combat if i can click on it um high mobility um high fire power mobile fighter which probably hasn't got any buffs since like what god gundam the build project version so yeah uh we can also look at transformer so these are something that i'll filter out myself and then kind of take a look at at uh, oh does this part fit my build or does the condition fit my build etc so that is probably like the mentality i'll kind of go for um so if you guys do have any question you guys can definitely always ask me in the comment section below like oh as far as like oh I don't know if I want to pick this part over another, but like if you're talking about oh which part specifically should I want to go for, I mean like you kind of have to do a little bit of a research for yourself. And then um, as always for melee build, you want to go for the best possible melee weapon and then a piece of or a, a pair of arm. Uh, those uh, having those two like getting the best possible one you can get uh, is probably going to put you at a very long good mileage as far as what you can do with them. So up next, let's talk about shooting base build. Uh, as far as shooting base build, there's you know probably go for you know, obviously Ace Exclusive, Commander, mid range, which recently got gotten a fairly big buff in my honest opinion. Uh, and then we have high fire power per usual. And then we can also even look at let's say Transformer, Gundam type. Like these are probably things I would feature on myself and then look for parts that will potentially fit my build. Um, as for always for a shooting base build, you wanna go for the best possible headpiece and then you wanna go for the best possible ranged weapon. So those those two combined are gonna be getting you the best possible mileage in terms of what you guys can be looking for. Uh, I think other than that, like what else to really cover here? Um, to kind of give you guys a perspective of how many parts we were not able to get, let's say, L badges for, uh, we are talking about Aerial, which is actually a unit that came out not too long ago. So that is definitely a huge, huge incentive to be summoning for, uh, as far as the 36 hours long banner, because like, who knows, we can, like, when we'll be able to get one of these banners, right? So things you're not able to exchange for is going to be from here. So all the way coming down to here, and then that should stop right here. Yeah, so from Kisi all the way to Aerials, it's gonna be at least like a good 10 to 15 units that you're not able to get anywhere right now, uh, unless you have previously summoned for. Like honestly, these like within these roster, you still have some pretty nifty EX skill we're talking about. Like, oh, I didn't even mention this one. Uh, we have the Austria Type F2. This one has some pretty good EX skill that you can you know potentially get for. Uh, so yeah, just gonna be recommending some other EX skill. I think EX skill is definitely a lot more easier because they're definitely something that uh, I think people will want for. Uh, like as compared to let's say, oh, strictly, what's the best part that give me the highest stats or what's the best possible part for outcome, right? Um, other than that, I don't think there's any other particular one that has some, you know, quote unquote, brand new EX skill. Uh, maybe you can take a look at the S Gundam booster unit. This one could have some pretty nifty EX skill depending on what, what kind of play style you're looking at. But other than that, I think that pretty much concludes it. So I'm not gonna, you know, as far as this video, I just want to make it really um, concrete, not too much of us for like comparison, uh, but it's more like briefly talking about, oh, what's something good, you know, but yeah, other than that, do let me know your result as for below, like, um, you want to do a summoning, let me know your expectation versus reality type deal, uh, I want to see what you guys want and then what you guys actually get, so, uh, but other than that, that's going to be pretty much it, um, and then, you know, as always, uh, happy Thanksgiving for those that are celebrating, uh, but other than that, I think that pretty much concludes this, um, you know, this kind of coverage over here and then I'll be catching you guys all on the next one.